And now, meteorologist Marty Benachinque with Southern Colorado's most accurate forecast. 1220, it's windy. Bet you're tired of hearing that. I'm tired of saying it, but that's where we're at right now across the plains. Now, yesterday we had gusts to 60. Today, well, yeah, you know, they're only like 50. Bottom line is the wind is still blowing a lot of stuff around. Check out the view from Eads where it's 54 degrees. The wind out of the north at 31 miles an hour. See how dirty the camera lens is there? That's just a pile of dust that's been blowing all over the place out there. So once the wind winds down, hopefully we'll be able to get around and clean these things up. But a lot of our cameras are <laughs> looking like that at the moment. Thanks to all of the wind. Now, it's not been as bad along the front range, very similar to yesterday. Not that we don't have wind, we do. It's out of the northwest at 20 miles an hour at Mugabug Pest Control, but we're not gusting quite as hard as it is for some of our neighbors farther to the east. 49 right now in Pueblo West, a little less cloud cover, a little less wind, too. So, you know, if you find an area like that where the wind isn't causing trouble, then yeah, it's generally an okay day as long as you're dressed appropriately. But I think for most of you, the rest of the afternoon, you should expect it to be pretty darn windy. We are going to track some very light rain and snow showers, most of it out here across the mountains. You see some of the blue through midnight. Might even get some light accumulations on the mountains south and west of Pueblo. But like last night, we're not expecting any terrible impacts to travel anywhere. And then for the rest of the night, we should see some clearing along the front range as far as the showers are concerned. We may keep a few clouds around. It does appear the wind will let up some late. That should allow our temperatures to get very chilly again. Many of you dropping to around or below freezing. So as I've been saying the last few days, those of you that got the early starts on the garden, cover that stuff up again tonight because we do think we'll be cold enough to cause some damage to any of the tender stuff. And then during the day tomorrow, really no big changes in the pattern. I do think we'll ratchet the wind back another notch, so gusts maybe at 35 miles an hour out across the plains and somewhere around 25 along the interstate. But we're still expecting some spotty cloud cover and maybe a few sprinkles or flurries somewhere along the front range, and that could be true at any time tomorrow afternoon. Highs tomorrow maybe up a little bit over today's values with mid-50s to lower 60s, but still trailing behind where we should be this time of year. But after tomorrow... It does appear we're finally going to start coming around. Friday, late in the day, we'll be making a run at 70 in Colorado Springs and mid to upper 70s from Saturday through Monday. Probably just some passing clouds, and it will be breezy to windy at times throughout that period. Uh, if the wind is strong enough, we may have some concerns with fire weather once again, and that's something we'll be tracking as we head into the weekend. It's always something. We'll then cool off some Tuesday into Wednesday, and by the middle of next week, might have a chance for a few showers. Pueblo, 60s tomorrow, 70s on Friday, up into the 80s then Saturday through Monday. So finally, we'll get in touch with some of that warmth that we would expect across the area as we move into May. Overnight lows should climb out of the uh, freezing range, and we'll start getting up into the 40s. So it'll be pretty nice at night, too. Again, we'll cool off some early next week, though it won't be dramatic with 70-ish on Tuesday and 60s on Wednesday. Canyon City, you'll be up in the 70s Friday and then hovering near 80 Saturday, Sunday. A little cooler Monday, more so Tuesday into Wednesday. And Again, Wednesday could bring us a couple of showers. I uh, wouldn't get too excited about that just yet. I still think we'll have to fight with some wind off and on throughout the period, but it won't be as bad as it's been recently. Teller County, look for 50s on Friday, then 60s as we hit the weekend. We should stay there through Monday. Could be down into the 40s by Wednesday, at which point we could be tracking a few raindrops, dare I say snowflakes again. Uh, over the mountains, I guess that's not a big surprise, but I'm kind of tired of talking about it. Yeah, well, as you like to say, the wind can ruin an otherwise perfect day. Or and now you've expanded on that. <laughs> perfect month, season, <laughs> year. Uh, <laughs> Let's go away. It'll be gone before we know it. Thanks, Marty.